Welcome back to the channel. What's your favorite season to run? Is it the winter or is it the summer? There is benefits of running in both weather, the summer or the winter, and there's disadvantages of running in both waters as well. Today we'll be talking about all things running in winter and everything running in summer. And on this channel, we talk about all things running and fitness related. So be sure to subscribe to be part of the tribe because we post two videos a week and that's on Thursdays and Saturdays. Our goal is to motivate you to be a stronger runner and inspire you on your fitness lifestyle. So let's get started with that summer and winter running. So we're gonna talk about all things winter running. So with winter running, you actually could get up later in a day to go out for that run rather than have to get up that early morning. And so winter running can be harder due to that low temperature and that wind factors. But now, most runners do find it easier to run in cold weather compared to running in warmer weather, which could be why marathons, a majority of marathons happen in October and November. So with that winter running, you will find yourself less dehydrated because your heart rate and body dehydration levels will be a lot lower. So that means that you will not find yourself as needing as much water for those winter run compared to that summer run, and you will not be getting as thirsty. But you do need to keep in mind of your hydration and make sure you are staying hydrated during those runs. And you do have to worry about slippery and wet sidewalks and roads, so you have to be paying attention for your safety. So that means that when you run in the winter, your performance level might decrease due to the temperatures, especially once those temperatures do be less than 40 degrees. And so also you want to be checking the weather before you go out and see what is that weather. So therefore you can know the temperature that you are running in as well as if it's snowing outside because these factors will affect your running path. But you also want to make sure that you are wearing the right type of clothing and stand dry. And when you think about your clothing, you want to be thinking about dressing in layers. Because when you dress in layers, you do allow yourself that once you are warming up during those runs, you are able to take off the additional layers. And later in that run, you are able, to, if you find yourself getting chilly, you are able to place it back on if need be. And when we say layers, it's, it's things like you wear a light jacket or heavy jacket. You could be wearing a base layer and even some mittens. And now what you are wearing will depend on what temperature it is outside. And if you're curious about what to wear during the winter run, we have a whole video right here on Scud Twin channel about things to wear during your winter run. So you want to be wearing shoes that will help keep you from falling. And then you want to be wearing something reflective so that cars could be able to see you while they're driving. Because it depends on what type of condition it is outside, they might not be able to see you. You also could be able to burn more calories as well as use more energy running outside in the winter time, especially if it's snowing outside. So that means that if you're on a weight loss journey, this would be more beneficial. And the great thing is that you have less crowd trails and less people outside. And if you are still running during that winter time, that means that you are be able to prepare yourself for that spring training as well as that spring races. But most runners do prefer running in winter time compared to that summertime. So your core temperature increases by 10% when you run, which means running in summer would be a lot more uncomfortable. You have a higher chance for heat stroke and heat exhaustion in the summer. The ideal temperature is usually 40 to 70 degrees to run in, which means that you may want to run in the morning, early morning, or evening to avoid that summer heat and get that cooler temperature. Now, runners with allergies may have a, may have a difficulty breathing in the summer due to that pollen. 
And if you live in certain regions, you have to deal with flies and mosquitoes. Now, most runners will slow down their pace in the summer heat. And that may be due to heat increases stress on the body and it also increases your effort to run and increase your heart rate. Now, there is a benefit to running in the summer due to that vitamin D from the sun. And we definitely could use that when we're aging or have that vitamin D deficiency. Now, I expect a lot to sweat in. And usually when a sweat hits the air, it evaporates. But when it's humid outside, it just sits on the skin. And humidity makes everything worse. Now, when you run in the summer, you want to think about your summer gear, which means you want to be running with shorts, performance wear shirt or tank top, a visor or hat, sunscreens, definitely a sunglasses, and you want to be thinking about your water intake. Now, you want to be thinking about the trips and tips of running in the summer and trips and tips of running in the winter. Definitely check our channel, Discuss Win channel. In our description below, we will be adding the videos about how to run in the summer and how to run in the winter and what to wear for that winter running. So the difference between running in the winter versus the summer is your body base temperature and your rate of exhaustion. So how to make the most out of running, no matter what is the weather condition, is staying hydrated and make sure you are wearing the right type of clothes. Make sure you do share the videos with others you think would be interested in this type of content and make sure you like the video and do subscribe if you need more running tilts because we got you. Until we see you next time. Bye-bye.